Hey everyone, Charles here with One November Uniform, and this video is going to show how I do an oil change with One November Uniform. Uh, we're going to go out for a quick little flight, get ever, all the oil warmed up and everything, and then we'll come back, strip the cowlings off, and drain the oil, and show you the few little tricks or hacks that I use to try to keep a clean or as clean of an oil change as I can in this Mooney. So I hope you guys enjoy and get some use out of this video. All right, we're back at the uh, hangar after a quick flight out to Prairie City and back. Uh, got the oil all heated up and ready to be drained. Um, one of the biggest reasons why I do that is because the oil will drain so much better with it being warm. And if you have the opportunity to go flying before you change your oil, I highly recommend it. You want to get your oil temps up to 185, 190 around there, uh, Mike Bush suggests. So that's what I try to do. Got the cowling off of one November uniform. And if you want to uh, see how the process that I use to take my cowling off, I will link um, my video for that. And then you'll be able to be caught up to where we are right now. We'll go ahead and get a drain hose to connect to my quick connect. And we'll get that the sump draining into a bucket. And then I'll hook up one of my favorite hacks for changing the oil in one November uniform. And these are the tools that I use to change the oil in one November uniform. The first thing that I do after I have the cowling all unhooked is I take some 3 8 inch hose and I use it to connect to my quick disconnect or quick drain uh, out here for the sump. So I just take the hose and I first start to run it out into the bucket and then run it up through here and slide it on to the quick disconnect. And then I have a hose clamp that I use that to put up there to just give a little added safety in case if uh, the hose was to come off of the quick disconnect or er, sorry not quick disconnect but the quick drain and then you just push the quick drain up and then over and now she'll start draining okay after I let it drain for just a few moments then I collect an oil sample and then send it off to Blackstone for oil analysis. And when I have a good sample, then I just let her drain on into the, uh, the bucket. And the next tool, which is one of my favorite tools that I use for doing an oil change, is this drain uh, tube that I slide underneath the oil filter. I punch two holes in the bottom of it and then I let the oil filter drain through the tube and into the bucket. I let it set overnight and then come out the next day, put in a little bit of compressed air into the top hole on the oil filter and blow out the rest of the oil. And then I'm able to slide the oil filter off, no fuss, no muss, and it's been an awesome time saver for my oil changes. And if you guys would like to see how I put this together, all the measurements and everything, go ahead and leave a comment down below to let me know that you guys would like to see that in the video and I'll go ahead and do it. How I mount this is with a zip tie and then all I use to punch two holes in the oil filter is just a large framing nail and a hammer. So I'll show you how I get all this set up. So I just take the open 
channel of the slide, slide it up underneath the front or the oil drain. And this is how it looks coming up underneath the oil filter. Now, before I can punch two holes in there, I'm going to have to cut off that safety wire. Okay, so now I just work around and cut the safety wire off. Now I just cut the end off of the filter. Before I punch the holes in the oil filter, I want to secure this funnel to the airplane just so that it doesn't slide out. And I just do that with a zip tie. So before we punch the holes, I like to lay down just an absorbing pad to catch any other little drips. Now that I have the absorbing pad in there, I like to punch the bottom hole first because that will keep the oil from draining out as fast if I did the top one and then the bottom one. And right now we want to try to keep the oil in the oil filter as long as we can before we punch in that second hole. So I get the Tempest torque wrench ready and then I kind of put my finger down there right at the bottom of the channel and then I walk my finger up the oil filter just that I know where I need to punch that hole. Now with that loose, I can roll that up. And I know where I want that hole punched. That hole's punched. And then I just run it back down. And there, now you can see it draining. And now we can punch the top hole. And now we'll help the oil drain out down through the tube. And there you can just see the oil coming down uh, channel. And then there's the oil filling up the bucket. This would be a hilarious shot if I dropped the phone in the bucket right now. So now that we have everything draining into the bucket, we are pretty much done for the evening. Um, we just let that drain out overnight and I'll come back tomorrow afternoon and we'll get the oil filter off and the new one put on, safety wired, and put oil in it, and we will go out for a test flight. I'll show you one more step that I do to drain, to get the last little bit of oil out of the oil filter, and then we'll be able to take it off with hardly any more oil coming out of there, and throw the new one on. Thank you.